Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas. No, oh my God. Hello, welcome back to Vlogtober. I don't know, I was very ahead. It's not Vlogmas yet. Um, it is Vlogtober. We are, Clover and I are here on the couch. Hi, my friend, he just got up here. He got back from his walk. We had a nice long walk in the lovely October weather. I'm trying to, oh, I have like water on my glasses now. I'm trying to embrace my whole like natural skin. Like I just have powder on today, a little concealer under my eyes. And we're trying to embrace the frizz that is my hair. Um, I'm just, I'm tired of like trying to like tame it, manage it. It just is what it is. So we're doing kind of wacky. It's still wet, so it's going to look different when it's dry. We'll see if I can rock a fro today. We'll see. I'm not used to it, but maybe it'll look good. I don't know. Anyway, it's off my face today. We're gonna um, have a little self-care day, I think. It's been a while since I've done one of these self-care days. I My nails need cutting and repolishing, so we're gonna do that. I wanna make myself a nice, warm chili, because I have some beef that I defrosted in the fridge. I've got butternut squash, and I feel like it could be a butternut squash chili moment. I think that'd be really comforting. And... I just want to have a nice self-care chill day. We're going to, I really also want to play The Sims. Oh, there was a Sims announcement that I think I missed. So I'll have to go back and watch that. But we're out of um, diced tomatoes. So I'm going to have to go to the store really quick and grab that. I also have a headache. So I was going to go to the store and grab some medicine because I don't really keep um, like pain relievers around like that. Uh, but before I do that, I might just drink some water with electrolytes in it because sometimes that solves it because sometimes I'm just dehydrated. So I'm going to have some water, going to like chug that down and then I'll just like take a little stroll down to the grocery store, pick up some tomatoes and like anything else I needed. I think I want to get some mangoes too because we're out of mangoes and I like to eat those. Um, but uh, I'll take you with me and we'll have a nice like fun, chill like girl girl day. I like to call it a girl day when I like do like girl things. But even if you're not a girl, if you don't identify as a girl, you can still do like girl stuff. It's girl, it's just girl things. Just girl things. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's go to the store real quick. I love going to the grocery store in person now. I used to like love to order online during like the lockdown and all that stuff. But now I kind of love to, to go and just look at all the things and touch it all <laughs> probably should be touching everything but you know i just like the whole grocery store experience it's fun but you always got to go with a list you know what i'm saying and look at my little basket in the queue i got some flowers i was putting everything away i am obsessed with having fresh flowers in the house at all times it just it just brightens my little day i just need to have it to feel good about myself for some reason um and now i'm gonna make my beef and butternut chili so uh, first of all, I'm so glad y'all are enjoying Vlogtober. Secondly, I have to say I'm really bad about like recipes in terms of like a teaspoon of this, half a cup of that, a quarter of a pound of whatever, um, because a lot of my cooking now is pretty much chaotic trial and error. So I just had the idea to make a beef chili but using a butternut squash because I had it around in my house for like a few weeks now, probably even a month, but they keep for a while. And I was like, listen, I need to use it up and it's fall. I'm gonna put butternut squash in it in lieu of beans. So this is how I cook. Oh, by the way, there's a tax always. This man is just staring at me cutting butternut squash. He's not, he is super creepy. I love him and I acknowledge that he's creepy. Okay, anyway, so I cut up some butternut squash as you can see, and I had one, red bell pepper that was about to go bad so I cut him up and I just am like very chaotic in the way that I cut I don't like dice stuff perfectly oh but I had to pay the bell pepper pa uh, tax clover loves like a little bit of red bell pepper just you know or green pepper whatever you got <laughs> he's like can I have a piece and I just always give him a piece because that's, that's that's just the dog tax yeah I gotta pay the dog tax so I had some red onion but you could use any kind of onion you had around I mean this is just me trying to use stuff that I had around in the refrigerator and that is really my whole cooking philosophy i had a whole shit ton of garlic i'm so sorry for swearing but like i do you just 
I love garlic. If you love garlic and you know, the recipe, whatever recipe you're using says like use uh, two cloves of garlic, you're using four. If it says use three cloves of garlic, you're using six. It's just, that's the rule, okay? That's just the garlic rule. I don't know. I don't make the rules, okay? Anyway, if you don't, if you're allergic to garlic, don't use garlic. I, this is me talking you through this recipe. I don't know if this is helpful or not, but anyway, chop it up. My knife skills are, you know, average, mediocre, whatever, but I, I get the job done and I don't cut my fingers. So that's really, that's, those are the only rules. Anyway, using my beautiful caraway stock pot. I love that thing. It's so pretty. And my butcher box ground beef, ground beef. Uh, I have to, I have this little like uh, meat breaking up tool that I'm obsessed with. That thing is so helpful. I, it's like the dumbest thing because it only does one thing. But I mean, hey, it helps. So, you know, it's legit. Anyway, when I'm cooking at home, I'm very liberal with salt uh, because restaurants are. I'm just, I, I mean, spoiler alert, they are. That's why food out tastes so good. So just, I mean, use some salt. If you're not hypertensive, hypertensive use some salt. Oh my gosh, I captured myself debating which chili pepper to use chili like chili powder i have one like smoked chipotle chili powder and one like regular chili powder and i was like what flavor do i want do i want smoked do i want plain but the smoke flavor is real strong it could take over the whole thing i don't know because i'm gonna add some other flavors i don't know look at i'm having a whole crisis over this like legitimately it's not that serious okay just choose one i ended up choosing just the plain chili powder just regular old chili powder because i thought that chipotle would be sometimes that's too much of an overwhelming flavor look look how chaotic i am just putting spices in okay i'll tell you what i added in case you want to try and make it at home cumin chili powder oregano and uh i put it in there with the vegetables so could I, I could coat the vegetables with the sauce and the, not the sauce, but the spices, salt and pepper, of course. And after that, I put in a can of diced tomatoes with chilies and some beef broth. You can use chicken broth. You can use whatever. You can use water. I don't, it's, it's all about experimenting. You got to experiment. Um, and I did add the tiniest bit of cinnamon to it. Now I have, I know that that's like really polarizing. People are like, ew, cinnamon and savory food, disgusting. I say, if used in a very specific, correct circumstance, it's fire. So a little bit of, of cinnamon here, I'm telling you like it was like less than a quarter of a teaspoon. Added a little bit of something, something, especially it, with the butternut squash. Girl, I'm going to tell you this was so good. This was so good. I outdid myself with this soup. I simmered it for an hour over like really low heat. Some yogurt on there, some some onion, cut up onion, cilantro, cheese. Mm. I've had it two other times since. It's good. It's still good every time. Damn. All right. So that's the end of my cooking with K segment. I'm so sorry. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, my nails are done. They're not perfect. I'm not good at doing nails, but um, I think they look pretty cute. I got two coats of Coco Jelly, like jelly nail polish on there. And don't look at my cuticles. They look terrible. And like a little uh, top coat on there. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, my cuticles look real bad. Don't look at them, but just look at the nails. Look at the nails. And I cut them nice and short so I can type and play the keyboard. So. Um, I got a, uh, oh, I got a couple packages, so we're going to open packages together, and we're going to chill a little bit more before I have to go to Cantata Singers tonight. So, I finally got my Little Saints delivery that I um, ordered a few days ago. It's just, like, um, non-alcoholic beverages, so I'm going to open those. Maybe we'll have some a little, little fun little mocktail tonight after rehearsal. And I got some Amazon candles and batteries. So let's open some packages together. Always gotta have the handy, handy dandy box opener. Coffee that we get every month. I don't need to open that for you guys. Well, maybe I, I will. I'll open it for y'all. I feel like I'm gonna ruin my nails opening these boxes, but it smells so good. This month we've got, uh, 
Mord Coffee. Mord Coffee. This is from Ethiopia. 16 year partnership. Single origin coffee. And it says a complex and floral cup. Sparkling with notes of nectarine, melon, and jasmine. So I guess that's probably going to be like pretty acidic, sounds like. So but anyway, we got our coffee for our, you know, our pleasure. It does smell really nice, so I'll put that away. And then I think this is my delivery from Little Saints. Uh, yes, it says Little Saints on it. I have like black out my uh, address before I throw packages away. I feel like you're supposed to do that, um, you know, for your own safety. Or, I don't know. I do it anyway, so it's like a force of habit. How does this box open? Presentation. Here we go. Ooh, this is nice. Look at this box. This is fancy. So I ordered the Sundowner set. And oh my god, they sent a little like cute little booklet, Little Saints. Um, welcome to our world of unordinary libations. And they're, you know, they've got little drink recipes in there. And so in the set, you get all these little like mixed drinks and then you get one um, like spirit. And I'm gonna, I'm excited. These are kind of expensive, so I don't buy these very often. I, I think I buy these like once or twice a year just as a treat for myself. Um, but the cans are so cute. The little, they have some mushroom, reishi, reishi mushroom, I think in them. So we've got um, four gin, oh no, these are ginger mule. And then this one is Paloma. This one's really good. I've had this one before. And then third flavor, we've got, oh no, that's Paloma. Wait, did they mix these up in here? Oh, they did. Spicy margarita. That one's really good. And then we've got Negroni spritz. I like this one too. So I'm excited to have these around. I'm gonna put these in the mini fridge. And then I'm excited to try the spirit. I've never tried the spirit before. It's called... Ember, I think. Okay, she is really in there. I like the packaging now. It's like, because everything looks like recyclable. It's a big bottle. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Um, so this is a non-alcoholic spirit. A bes it says bespoke. A bespoke non-alcoholic spirit, with a lot of spice and a little smoke, and a curious blend of a Palo Santo ginger, cardamom, and lion lion's mane mushroom. So. Um, this is what it looks like. It is, uh, like, there's, it says there's 13 servings in here. We'll make a little, like, you know, make little fun fotinis with this. I'm curious to what it smells like. Should I save that for now or later? Maybe we'll do later. We'll, like, keep it sealed for now and we'll save that for later. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm gonna put these away. So I'm gonna, the box is so nice, I love that. As far as cost, that whole thing, this whole thing was about $100, but I got like a coupon code and then it was only like $80. So was it, was it $100? I don't know. All I know is that it was expensive and that like these little drinks are expensive, but I just like once or twice a year, I'm like, yeah, forget it. I just need some little treat, like after dinner treat. And you know, it's better than drinking like actual alcohol. So there's that. And you know what? I don't think this box is incredibly exciting. I really think it's just batteries and the little like, faux candles for vibes. That's all it is. So we got the flameless candles from Amazon. We'll see how these work. Uh, I, I, I like the vibes on these flameless candles without actually having fire. Um, and then they look different from, wait, pack of three. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what they really look like. Okay, they come with a remote. That's, that's fun. Okay, they look like how they're supposed to look. I was getting nervous because the picture on the front had all of these like different looking candles and I was like, hello. Um, but they look like they're supposed to look like just plain. I don't think this moves or anything. I just think it's just it's the vibes. Um, you know, there's three of those. We can just like hook these right up right now. Are they, are they like battery operated? Like, oh, I guess they are. Oh, they have a little, okay. It's the same as the other one with a little clicky click, 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 click. And there, I think it's for, 
double A battery, I want to say. These are wa actual wax on the outside, so they're actually real wax. Um, triple A batteries. Okay, we've got those too. We've got those. But we also have now the Amazon Basics. I ordered another box of double A batteries. The last time I ordered these, it said on my profile, was 2023. So they, la they lasted quite a long time. So I'll put those downstairs and um, I will uh, hook up the candles and we'll have some. We'll have some vibes. I'm excited. I hope I have enough AAA batteries to run these. This is kind of mundane, but it's fall, so I figured I'd get my fall seasonal clothes out. I don't even know what's in here. <laughs> so we're going to go through here and see if I want to keep everything in here, but I think I do. I think it's just fall stuff. All right. Oh my gosh! It's sweaters! So I'm, I'm, I want to like you know, give fall vibes tonight. So this sweater was in here. This is the Jessica Simpson sweater I got from Marshalls last year. Super cute. It's just sweaters in here, I think. Oh my gosh, gray sweater. Gray, gray sweater. So comfy. Um, cinema roll sweater. I have cinema roll socks on today, so sweater would be cute. Go along with everything's wrinkled. Um, jacket. I was looking for this because I'm... I'm in my jacket era, and I'm a, I am love this jacket. I think, you know what? Doesn't this one have short sleeves, though, kind of? Hold on. Are you living, though? Like, isn't it so cute? I got this. I think it has a little uh, hook on it, so I can keep it closed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's the hook. Uh, there, so you can keep it kind of closed, but not really. Um, this is anthro, but like vintage anthro, and I wore it at my wedding, believe it or not. Um, why did I, did I have it before my wedding? Why did I have this? Anyway, it's way cuter when it's open, I think. Let me just open it back up. Um, cause look, I don't know. Do I want, do I want to wear this tonight? Last night I wore a, um, a mustard blazer and... I don't know, it was giving fall, it was looking kind of fire, but I, we need to find, like, a place, like, something to wear with her. Oh, I love this piece. I think at one point I was, just, like, deciding on giving it away. I'm glad I didn't, because I really love it. Uh, it's from a brand called Tabitha? I don't know if that exists anymore, but here's the tag. So cute. This sweater. Love this one. I think I've worn this one in a bunch of videos. Another anthro sweater. Everything's really wrinkled, but... Cute peplum, big sleeves. Um, ooh, this one's ooh, ooh, cozy. This, this is cozy. It's like a sweater shrug thing. Sweater, it's like a sweat, but it doesn't have sleeves. The sleeves are like this. They're not really sleeves. This is a, and it's got a hood on it. It is cozy. I love this thing. Let's see. Maybe I want to wear this tonight. I don't know. And then you can button it up. And you can be, you know, just feeling like your best fall self. Wait, which button? This is the top. This is the next hole down here. There. Um, let me back up the camera a little bit. Oh, I love it. And it's got a little hood on it. It's on it. Oh, it's so cute. What am I going to wear with this? I mean, I could just do jeans, but I feel like this would be so cute with like a long skirt or something. <gasps> long, is it long skirt day? Mm. The doggo sweater. I love this sweater. It's from Philosophy, but I got it on um, consignment. I don't shop at Philosophy because, girl, she's expensive. But like, it's got a wiener dog on it. I'm obsessed with the sweater. What do we do tonight? We could do doggo sweater. Pants! Mm. Pants. Pants, 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 pants. We're gonna have to come up with an occasion to wear these pants. I mean, I could wear these to rehearsal. They're so cute. Hmm. Wait, let me try these on. Let me actually try these on. I forgot they were short-waisted. Let me see. Do they have pockets? I don't think these are real pockets. I don't think they have pockets. No, there's pockets in the back. Um, let me look in the mirror. I think with a little blouse. Here, I'll like put the camera down here. You can see. Oh my gosh, you can't see. Now you can see, kind of. 
they're kind of a weird length um, but I like the like the detail in the front little pockets there's pockets in the back um, they're like a weird length they're like kind of like flood I think they're meant to be like shorter so I think actually it would be good for me to have them hemmed so that they're like meant to be short but I think with a nice Chelsea boot it might be kind of cute okay it's not cute with a Chelsea boot <laughs> it's not cute I'm feeling it with like a little cute sandal and then either a sweater or um cute little blouse on top with a cardigan I think we're good to go I don't know do we do I wear this tonight am I like is this how is it my, my fall fit I gotta pick an outfit for tonight I could just do doggo sweater and like um Chelsea boots and I want like a little under blouse showing. I think that would be cute. Um maybe that's what I'll do. With little uh with little sneakers, little trainers. I think that'd be cute. All right, I think we got it. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, I didn't record anything at rehearsal because you know, we were just, we were busy singing. I should turn the camera the other way. We we're busy singing and I'm tired. There was someone sitting next to me who like may have been sick. So I'm gonna like neti pot and like take extra vitamins or something so I don't get sick. <sighs> um, but let's, let's open the little saints um spirit and see what it smells like and maybe we'll taste a little bit of it and but I think I'll have like a one of those Paloma or something like that for like our little nightcap I'm gonna have a little bit of like leftover chili to eat but I really want to open the spirit so let's let's see what's going on with that here it is Ooh, I love the bottle I think it's pretty so let's see how is it sealed here just with the paper clover is literally begging for like a night treat. Sir, what is happening? I I can't guarantee you're gonna get a night treat right now. Maybe before bed. I know it's time. Look, he stared right into your soul. Isn't he creepy? I keep telling him he is the creepy. <laughs> He's literally the creepiest dog. Actually, there is a creepier dog named Moxie who's on TikTok, um, but Clover's pretty damn creepy. I'm always calling him like, creepiest little creep man does he be doing that creep thing like professionally okay let's see can I open this but you know he's creepy in like a cute way <laughs> they didn't have to make this so hard they could have just made a screw on cap In a glass. Mm. All right. Cheers. You're right. My stomach's making noise. That'd be good with some ice. It's got a little burn going down. Shake it up with like, ooh. <coughs> it's got kind of a licorice thing going. Little bit. That's good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, for real though, I'm grabbing a Paloma. This one's gonna be really good. Put a little ice in this glass. That was good. And we'll have ourselves a little moment. A little like evening moment. Oh, we got lots of bubbles. Whoever's here. Do we want a little straw? Maybe a little tiny straw. Straw? Yeah, a little straw.
That's so good. Oh my God, he gave up, but he's looking so cute. <laughs> Look at him. You are just the most precious little man. So precious. Look at how dignified you look. You are a dignified gentleman. An honest to goodness gentleman. I can't get enough of you. I love you so much. What, are you still looking for treats? Listen, before bed, I promise, before bed, you will get a treat. Just be patient, okay? Okay, so just like any other vlogging everyday situation, you get what you get. I don't think that very much happened today. We just had a girl's day, we relaxed. We did our nails, nails, see me finished nails. We, um, I didn't get to play The Sims, so I didn't do that. Uh, but we went to rehearsal, we sang very badly, um, the 10th movement of the Multiverty Vespers. <sighs> Ooh, girl, I gotta, see, I thought, I thought the one I had to work on was like some earlier in the piece, and then we got to number 10 today in the rehearsal and it just ooh it ooh uh there were a lot of mistakes i gotta work on that um and just focus on making that <laughs> making that one like not so embarrassing next time and um i'm gonna have some chili i'm gonna relax before bed although it's not really great to eat and go to bed but like what are you gonna do right now you know because tomorrow I have kind of a chill day and then be, I have to leave for Maine in the afternoon. So it's going to be kind of essential that I rest my person. And just in case I was exposed to some germs, I'm going to be extra chill tomorrow. My stomach's making so much noise. I'm going to feed it a little bit. And I'm going to continue having my little after, after rehearsal uh, mocktail and take a load off before... Uh, before I go to bed. So I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogmas. I keep saying that. It's not Vlogmas. It's Vlogtober, dude. I'm, I'm already thinking about Christmas. By the way, I am fully embracing like the frizz, like natural state of my hair without gel in it. This is what I'm, I have lost the battle. Well, not lost the battle, but I am tired of over manipulating my hair. I think it's bad, I think it's damaging. So this is like dirty hair without any gel in it. And the whole thing about that is like, it's not, it doesn't weigh it down or anything. So it just kind of is out. <laughs> and you know what? I don't hate it. It's like wild. I have a little pin in here. I don't know why that's in there. We'll take that out. Like, it's wild and crazy, but I don't, well, now it looks really crazy, but <laughs> I don't think that it's terrible. I think that it just looks like somebody with curly hair, so, but I'm going to put a bonnet on it and go to bed. By the way, someone asked me where I got my bonnets. I was, I meant to answer your question. I'm not ignoring you. They just don't sell them on Amazon anymore. The seller doesn't either doesn't exist or doesn't sell them anymore. So I'll try to find some other alternatives. But like, I think I bought those bonnets like three years ago or something. I'll, I'll grab one so you can see what I'm talking about. They're like these bonnets. They're pretty cute. They have elastic and they are adjustable. Um, so when you put them on, they're like so cute. You can put them on like, you know, and be out on the street and look like you're not like you got yourself together a little bit. <laughs> so I wear them to bed, they are satin on the inside, but I will try to find some similar and link them down in the description below. Um, Cause you know, it's almost Amazon Prime days. So maybe y'all might wanna get on there, spend some money, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our girl day. Girl day. By the way, I wore the dog sweater as you can see and I feel good about it. I'm gonna netty, I'm gonna netty pot, have some chili and play Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney, but not Phoenix Ray. I'm playing The Great Ace Attorney, which is a video game. If you're not familiar with like video games, <laughs> I've really been enjoying it. It's really fun. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogtober installment, and I'll see you tomorrow for a pre road trip vlog. It's gonna be fun. All right.